In this video, we're going to go through how to use a TC3700 Hunter tire machine. First thing we got to do is take our tire, remove our valve core. We'll use a valve core removal tool. This will remove all the air from the tire so we can pop the beads. We'll take those, set those aside. Also, if there's any wheel weights on, on the rim, we need to remove those with our wheel weight tool. <clears throat> Make sure you check both sides. Now we're going to go ahead and use our side shovel here to break loose our beads. The foot pedal that's furthest to the right will operate <clears throat> side shovel. So we'll go ahead and take our tire. We're going to place <clears throat> the tire so the side shovel is right on the edge of the rim, as close to the rim as you can without touching the rim. We're going to hold it in place with our one hand, hold the tire with the other hand, depress the foot pedal, and the bead should pop away. Now if it doesn't pop all the way, this time we got the whole front side here, the whole bead came unpopped. If it doesn't do that, you might have to rotate the tire around and do it again. Now we'll flip the tire around to the back side here, <clears throat> do the same thing. Okay, this time only one side of the bead came loose, so we'll flip the tire around. Pop the bead loose on this side. And now we have our tire and our bead separated from each other. We're gonna go ahead and put our tire on the turntable here. There's a little stud here. That stud's gonna go through one of the holes on the hub where the lugs go. Put our tire on there. We'll center up the center of the hub here with the hole in the turntable. We'll take our hold down tool. We'll put that in. Give it about a quarter turn. Pull up on it. Make sure it's locked in place. Pull on the red levers here. It'll drop the nut <clears throat> down in place. We're going to tighten it by hand. Use one hand to hold the nut in place. Make sure that doesn't rotate. And then we we'll use our other hand to tighten it up. Now. If you tighten this too tight, you will break off the black handles here. We don't want to do that, so we want to make sure we have it just tight enough. Push down the bead. Now we're going to take and we're going to lower our duck head into position. So remember, we call this the duck head because if we look, it looks like the shape of a duck. Here's its bill, its head, and then the back of the duck. So we make sure that the duck head is in there. It's going to go around the rim. It's got a C-shaped channel inside here. That C-shaped channel is going to go around the bead seat on the rim. We're going to grab one of our spoons. doesn't matter which one. This one here has a curved end. This is the straight one. It has this curved end that fits really nice in the bead. I really like using this tool. We're going to push down with one hand on the tire. We're going to take and put the tool around the bead of the tire. We're going to pull back, lay it against the rim, and hold it in place. We're going to hit the, the center foot pedal and rotate. We're going to hold the tool in place until it pops out by itself. So now we got the top bead undone. We can go ahead and take. We're going to push the bead back, or the tire back, so we can see the top, the bead on the back side here. Now we need to take and put the tool on the duck's head again, on its bill, and go down to the bottom side, the bottom bead. Once you feel the tool hooked on there, pull the tire up, pull, pull the spoon across, hold it in position, and rotate. The spoon will come free. We put the spoon back where it belongs. Now our tire is loose from our assembly. We can go ahead and take the tire off. Now we're uh, in a position where we can put it back on. If this does come loose, make sure you just tighten it down a little bit. <clears throat> if this was a, a customer's vehicle or something, we'd take and go through, make sure that there's no corrosion on the bead seats on the rim. We'd also replace the valve stem. Now, in order to install this tire back on the rim, we need to lubricate the beads so they'll go on a little bit easier. So we'll take the spray bottle here. We're just getting a little bit on there. We don't need to soak it, just a little bit to lubricate it, make it a little easier to slip on. We'll put the tire down. We'll pull our arm down here. Make sure that that channel is around the bead. Okay. Now we're gonna use the back of the duck here. Duck's back. We're gonna put <clears throat> the tire on the duck's back here. I'm gonna push in. While I'm pushing on this, I'm gonna take and rotate the turntable. 
and our bottom bead will pop on. We're going to do the same thing here with the top bead. Make sure it's across the duct's back here. Now I'm going to take and push down my hands on the sidewall of the tire. My hands are going to follow around and I'm not going to move. So I'm going to push, hold down. I'm holding my, my tire down. Once I reach around this 180 degrees around, then I can go ahead and stop. Now this tire didn't pop down, so all I got to do is push down. It'll pop into place. <clears throat> Now one of the last things I need to do is go ahead and inflate my tire to pop my beads. So I'm going to rotate the tire around. I want the valve stem to be facing me on the side here with the air hose. Hook the air hose up. Now we're going to pop this bead. So we're going to use air, <clears throat> air pressure. Make sure your hands are away. They're not on the beads. If they're around the beads, the bead could pop. Your finger gets stuck inside. So we're going to have our hands away. We're going to push on the foot pedal here. There's two settings, halfway and all the way. You only want to go halfway. Don't go all the way. It'll hurt your ears. So we're going to push down. Our bead will start to pop. On the older tires like these, you're not going to hear much of a pop. On a new tire, you'll hear two distinct pops of the upper and lower bead to be seating. I want to fill the tire up to about the recommended tire pressure. So this is off of a Civic in the front, so it's about 30 PSI. Now I need to take and put my valve core back in. So I'm put the valve core on the valve core removal, removal tool and I'll hold it with my thumb and finger. Now we can do this a couple ways. I like to take and to get it close enough, I'm gonna take and fill the tire up a little bit, about, about five PSI higher than what I wanted at. So I want it at 30, I'm gonna put it at 35. I'm gonna remove the, remove the air hose and quickly put the valve core back in. Now right there you saw how that kind of blew it away. It happens sometimes. So I found another valve core. There's usually some extra valve cores uh, <clears throat> on the machine here. We're gonna turn and rotate until you hear a clicking noise from our valve core tool. That means it's tightened down all the way. We can go ahead and adjust our air pressure from here. End up about 18 PSI after all that. So we'll fill it up. Now when we're filling tires, we're never gonna fill them past 40 PSI because that's usually the threshold for a lot of tires maximum pressure wise. Always do a little bit at a time and check. Okay, so we're at 30. We're gonna take, loosen up our <clears throat> retaining tool, do another quarter turn or so, pull up as we're doing it. Sometimes it gets stuck. Put that back where it belongs. Take our tire off, we're finished up ready to go on to the next step, which will be balancing.